Hey guys, it's Romeo with Love Struggles Books, and I really wanted to talk to you about the documentary on Netflix, Khalif Browder. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. It's absolutely incredible. I literally cried from top to bottom because I couldn't understand how a system could fail a child in such a way. But then when you really look deeper into things, you recognize that this is happening far too often, it's way too common, and it's not addressed, and it's not talked about. The 16-year-old kid was wrongfully accused of stealing a backpack um, and was thrown in Rikers Island for up to three or four years and literally spent most of his time in solitary confinement. And I think President Obama even said anything more than 15 days is complete torture. Um, to be locked in a tiny cell with no light and no human interaction, um, you're kind of just in limbo, you can't keep track of time. The brain breaks down and you literally go crazy as they call it um, because no human is really meant to endure that kind of isolation. We're meant to be amongst each other and um, fellowship and learn and talk and exchange. So to completely erase time and space and, and, and immerse someone into complete darkness, no one could survive that. And this kid didn't. Um, he committed suicide uh, shortly after, um, you know, getting out. He did obviously make some gains, but everything that he experienced in prison, um, the assaults, the attacks, the traumatizations, they really took a toll on him. And they, And the reason why this is so important is because they say, most inmates before going into solitary confinement don't show any signs of mental issues as they call it um you know they love labels um but then once they go in there there's a heightened sense of anxiety and um you know mood disorders and and depression and um hallucinations and paranoia but who wouldn't experience that you know what i mean it's it's just common sense um and the reason why I'm really wanting to bring this to light and talk about it and, and encourage you to go watch it is because I really believe that um, emotional mental health, you know, our thoughts, our destructive thoughts, our distortions, you know, when we uh, beat ourselves down and, and, and um, we feel that no one is experiencing what we're experiencing, these recurring thoughts really isolate you and, and, and kind of create their own um, cell of solitary confinement. A lot of people who experience these um, destructive thoughts isolate themselves. They feel abandoned. Um, they feel depressed. They feel that no one gets them. And then when they do try to reach out for support, most people ignore them or minimize their feelings or don't actually have the capacity or um, emotional capability to, to help these individuals. So they end up feeling even more alone. And I can speak from personal experience when I attempted suicide numerous times. Um, I was walking around in big cities and I felt no one could see me or they were seeing right through me and and no one understood what I was feeling and I felt abandoned and I felt isolated and I felt like my life didn't matter. So I was like, okay, I don't matter. So let me just go ahead and kill myself and get rid of myself out of the society because they don't value me anyways and I don't have any purpose. And I learned quickly that these were all lies that my mind and my emotions were playing on me. These were tricks that they were playing on me. And we need to do more getting the conversation started when it comes to emotional mental health. Um, there are so many people who don't really understand the severity of this. Your mind can play tricks on you. Your thoughts become distortions. They create your feelings. They magnify things that aren't really real, but they feel real to you. Take care of your mental health, guys. Um, stay updated. Check out this documentary. It's Romeo Ballion with Love Struggles Books, and I'm wishing you love, peace, and prosperity. Take care of yourself. Be kind. Show empathy towards your experiences. Forgive people for what they don't know how to show you. Just be diligent in fighting for your health, your sanity. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Goodbye.